Hello everyone, welcome back to See Morning Show. I know that you see it as like a different setting, but when it comes to weekend, people might try to find, you know, some activities, like different activities, just to, you know, um, scale up your skills. Yeah. Right? right? So one of those could be pottery, and it can be very exciting for beginners, but it can also feel a bit overwhelming that is true <laughs> since it may seem like there is a steep learning curve but however like most hobbies the more you learn the more you realize what you don't know yes what i don't know is a lot <laughs> however working with clay working with clay can benefit our mental and physical well-being without any further ado let's welcome pottery artist mabel emralda in the studio welcome Hi, mabel hello. good morning how are you I'm great. How Good. are you guys? Uh, we're, um, I'm a little anxious. Uh -huh. right? I Agitated. Because, yeah. you know, this is something that I've been wanting to learn, but um, uh -huh. I did not have the time. I did not have the courage. courage I was going to say. And also, I uh -huh. was like, maybe I'm just going to order it online. <laughs> <laughs> so, first thing, uh, Mabel. Yes. Um, what should we study first when it comes to, uh, you know, pottery? Um, honestly, it's all about having fun and like just kind of feeling the clay. I mm. feel like the first step to pottery is just like, um, like, you know, pinching it. Okay. And, like just, just generally feeling the clay and, um... So those basic movements, yeah? Yeah, those Getting basic your hands, movements. um, used to touching the clay and all that because yeah. I'm just doing this and it's, it's just <laughs> foreign to me. I know. Right? I mean, man, look at, look at this. Like, we have two different colors of clay. Right, now. right, two different sizes too. And they, they're different texture, or, right? Am I right or am I Yeah, am they, I they are two, two uh, different, different right? types of clay. Okay, uh -huh. okay. And, uh, later on I'll show you guys, like, why we're using two different types of clay. So, yeah, okay, so what kind of, uh, so these, there's there's two here, can you yes. explain to us a little bit the, um, dif uh, the different kinds? So we have two types of clay here, uh, the brown one is called Sukabumi clay because it, it came from that region and then the other one is the white clay and the reason why we have two different types is because um, we want to get two different looks mm -hmm. because the Sukabumi clay will have the color of brown as the base mm -hmm. so it's hard to get a lighter color okay. but if you use the white clay it's um, it's more friendly towards like lighter colors oh. but it is also more difficult to manage okay <laughs> so I can't really <laughs> wait to get into it directly so yeah, I'm yes. gonna take, take your, uh, yeah. my yeah, watch take but ring, anyway watch. while we are oh. actually preparing um, over here we are gonna go for the kickoff of the ASEAN Summit 2023 that is now currently happening in uh, the uh, Hotel Indonesia Rotunda as we are now uh, seeing on the screen at the moment. We have our reporters there uh, to report what is actually happening at the moment. All right, so apparently we're still trying to connect ourselves with the reporters, but as you can see at the moment, these are actually the stage and also... So, Ranga, mm -hmm. from, from last night we saw uh, that lots of settings being uh, put in the uh, Hotel Indonesia Rotonda, and now we are seeing our president, Joko Widodo, is uh, entering the venue. Right, and good thing it's stopped raining, even though I think for a little bit. Yeah. It's been wet since last night, I believe. Probably because uh, uh, one hour ago when we started the show, it was raining like really hard. Oh, you're right, you're right. Really That's hard. why I couldn't get out and get my second coffee for the morning. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna come back to this, I guess. Okay, right so now. Mabel, uh, okay. can you teach Mabel. us on uh, yes. the steps? Yes. Uh, so for today, we're going to make a version can of imagine a bowl. You can make this in, in this morning's cycle. Cute! <laughs> We're gonna make this in less than 10 minutes. Ooh, all right. Less, okay. okay. That's, That's a challenge. A challenge. <laughs> That's a challenge for you too. Less than 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so this part is kind of like your regular bowl, except it has like kind of like a curved mm -hmm. indent in it. So you can use it for like sauces. Okay. Or like drool. Or my, or my espresso in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Probably. 
pieces that you bought. Right, right. Uh, I mean, that you brought. Okay, so um, the good thing about pottery is that it's very flexible in terms of tools. Mm -hmm. So you can, for example, the silver thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, that's this? kind of like to smooth things out. Okay. But you can also use like a student card. Okay. Yeah. And we have okay. a sponge, which uh, um, it has a lot of uses. But for today, since we're going to be uh, doing more of hand building, we're, we're not going to use this as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably the most used tool is this one, the needle looking thing. Oh, uh, OK, okay. Oh, this okay. one. See, it's this one, yeah. Yeah. Right. And if we have time, maybe we can make like kind of like a face. And that would require this, this tool. One. OK, so that, let's okay. get into it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So as you can see, uh, I prepared four balls of clay for you guys. Mm -hmm. So we can start by making this part, mm -hmm. which is the biggest clay ball, okay. which biggest is the clay. brown one. Right. Okay. Oof. Okay. So what do we like, do with it? So first, just like get familiar with it, you know. Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. And there's kind of like a f like a more flat part. Mm -hmm. So take your thumb. Yeah. And kind of. Put it inside a little bit. You don't you don't have to go too far, and you start kind of pinching it. So you pinch it while the thumb moves even deeper. Okay. So you want to like turn it around like this. Okay. Until you make kind of like a bowl shape, and you can always use your fingers to kind of determine the thickness of the clay. Oh, because so that's how you control shape. it. Yes, mm. yes. And I see that you guys are doing really well. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Quite a compliment. <laughs> yeah. And how deep? It's um, to, to your heart content. To our likings. Yeah, yeah. To, okay. to your liking. But um, I would recommend maybe for this one, like one centimeter. Oh, okay, on, on one like, centimeter. Like the walls, you know? Mm -hmm. Is there any reason behind it? I mean, to, to keep it like at least one centimeter um, thick? Um, it's for the firing, because mm -hmm. ah. if it's too thin, it might crack. Ah, and, makes sense. And if it's too thick, it might crack as well. Oh, okay. even when it's too thick, yeah? Yeah, you okay. want it to be kind of like the Just, right amount. Mm -hmm. Just keep pinching. And you guys... Is this deep uh, enough, you think? or? Uh, I think you can go deeper, because okay. like, it's like this, for example. Oh, OK. Is it too deep? That's actually fine. OK. Yeah, you're doing great. No worry. <laughs> yeah, and Hans is multi-talented, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yesterday, we were doing origami. He was just oh, wow. acing it. Nice. It was just a beginner luck. Or that. <laughs> and... Okay. Um, I got that side pretty good. Good. Yeah. A little deeper. And this is this is uh, called the sukabumi clay. Okay. Uh huh. And this is perfect for beginners. Oh, so uh, there are actually types of clay. Yes. Um, there is, uh, or there are, in uh, in the world of poetry. Yes, mm. definitely. Okay. So the sukabumi clay is really great for beginners because it's very durable. And when you're handling it, it, uh -huh. it feels more malleable, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Right. Uh, OK. And because you guys have like another type of clay here, I'm mm -hmm. sure uh, you, you can feel the difference later okay. on. Yeah. So you kind of want to get into like this kind of shape. Yeah. OK. Wait, is it? Yeah. And one thing that my teacher told me is that when you want to make something, mm -hmm. uh, you should try to make multiple copies of it so you don't get obsessed over one piece. Uh, oh, which, good tip. Which is Words why of wisdom. we're going to let it sit for now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try to make this part. OK. Oh, OK. All yeah. right. That's really good. Step away for a little bit, you know? Yeah. You don't get too attached. You don't get too focused. Too obsessed. Too obsessed. Yeah. All right. So for this one, uh, take the white clay, the bigger one. Okay, the bigger white clay. Okay. Yeah, and then it's 
it's kind of essentially the same process. Mm -hmm. So we can do that first, and then later we'll make the... The ridges. Yeah, the ridges. So, so the same process in the beginning? Same process, but oh. I'm pretty sure you can kind of feel like the clay is different, yeah. right? Yes. It's even more um, firmer. It's firm. Yeah. So, uh, where this, uh, where does this clay from? Uh, the exact origins, I'm not very sure, but uh, they do have some coming in from Kalimantan. I see. So they're all actually from Indonesia, is that correct? I mean... Yeah, yeah. There, there's quite so, a lot. And they, they have different characteristics too, yeah? Yes. So this That's, one's firmer. Yeah. Yeah, this one's firmer but it gives you a white base. So if you want to color it something light, it's going to be more apparent in, the, in this one. Look at this. Now, it's a little bit mixed now because I was holding this clay and this one. Is that OK for, uh, for later on if we continue this way? Oh, Should yeah, I yeah. Should I clean my hands before? No, I mean, is it OK? Ideally, you could clean your hands, but okay. if you're not a perfectionist, that's fine. <laughs> Now well, the problem is, I'm it. a perfectionist. <laughs> oh, you're a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. I see you've gone to this stage. So in here, it's still thick, right? Yeah. So we would want to kind of pinch it on the outside. Oh. Like so. Oh. Oh, and so you make um, like a, what you call it? Like a mushroom cap, maybe? Oh, mushroom cap, yeah. Yeah. Because we want to have like this kind of shape. Oh, okay. Now that's a challenge. Let's see. You got to go real easy on this guy. And if you have cracks like these, mm -hmm. you can always just smooth it out with your finger. Oh, that's what I've been wondering. Mm -hmm. How could I do that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. It's like this mushroom in the Mario Brothers game. <laughs> see this? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the mushroom princess. Yes. Uh, that they've been trying to save. Every single year. Yeah. I don't know if that princess wants to be saved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You can get so flat like that, Mabel. My goodness. Yeah, How could you be so quick? Mm -hmm. So, um, you were saying that uh, these clays are from... Uh, various places. Are there any um, suppliers, like dedicated suppliers? Uh -huh, for this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, because um, pottery nowadays is quite booming, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, we have some reliable suppliers that you can find in like Tokopedia or Shopee. Oh, so it's actually available online, yeah? Online yes. too. Everything's available online these days. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's good to know. Right. So, so of... if you were to go online at, uh, right now, Mabel, is there a, a starter kit kind of thing for someone who's about to, or not about to, but just interested into just doing something with clay? Um, Can we find things like that online? Yeah, yeah. yeah? I mean, for starters, um, I think an interest with clay could develop from like playing Play-Doh or like yeah, you know, you're right, paper you're right. mache, you know? So I think if, okay. if you're interested from there, then you can kind of like uh, look around more, okay. things like that. So um, we haven't had the chance to ask you this, but how did you start making pottery? I mean, doing this kind of thing? I started making pottery when I quit my office job. Mm. Okay. Um, it's, it was a, uh, I don't know, like, I took interior design as a major, mm -hmm. but when I started working for interior design offices, like, I just didn't feel like I was content. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, this was, like, something I've been wanting to do, and so I tried it, and, you know, so this was something that you've been doing probably on the side when you were ha when you had that nine to five job. Is that right? Kind yeah. Of? Okay. Okay. So when you, do you have this kind of shape? Um, almost good. there. Not really. Not so we got a little really. big dome on How top. Is it? Right. I mean, it's good. I think because there's a lot of clay on the top, mm -hmm. so you can kind of like push it down the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
And if there's like tears like this, yeah. you can kind of like mush them together. Okay. Like that. All right, so I'm yeah. gonna try. Yeah. So, well, I was, mm -hmm. no, just thinking when we were doing this in the past five minutes or so, mm -hmm. and we're just talking and I think in its way, it's very calming. It right? is. It right? Is, and yeah. there's that thing behind you that says therapeutic. So oh, <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> Can you please, you know, just elaborate more what actually this uh, doing to us mentally, physically, we know this is going to have to take, uh, we, we really have to be very patient, right? Mm hmm So what's the benefit so, of doing this? Mentally, I would say that, um, I would say that it's, it's very therapeutic because um, there's this type of therapy called sand play. Mm. Okay. I, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but basically it um, it asks you to like play with the sand and mold it while you're talking to a therapist. Mm. Ah. So in that sense, okay. pottery is something like sand play. Okay. And as for physically, um, if you if you get um, more serious with pottery and then you kind of do the labor like it, it it's kind of an exercise <laughs> yeah because like you gotta you gotta bring all these um, you know um, all these artworks and stuff like that yeah so is it then uh, ther uh, pottery to be specific uh, is it recommended by uh, doctors to have or therapists yes. or therapists. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they recommended it. Yeah, oh. They were. oh, wow. Okay. Oh, at this stage, you can compare your white clay and your brown clay, and see if it has like the shape that you want. Well, my shape is Mine? definitely cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And I think I need to make a little. So okay, I, I'm I'm gonna try to do. As you said, or for the cracking, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, uh, you know, doing a sweeping motion. If that makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, very much. Okay. And sweeping motion, huh? And so you can. I think that's pretty good. Like. But I got a lot of cracks on the side. Is that? Oh, I can so fix that. Yeah, you just have to like smooth it over like that. Ah. Just keep doing it that way, yeah. Yeah. But I think the size is already pretty good. That size good. is good? Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Just smooth it out a little bit. So, because you have two different pieces, you can kind of see if, you're, if you've already made the size that you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think I'm there. Uh-huh. And if you're there, then we can move on to the ridges, basically. Okay, go back to the, the other clay. Yeah, because okay. earlier we didn't want to obsess over the brown clay. Yeah. So That's now true. we can go back to the brown clay and not obsess over the white clay. Uh -huh. I'm getting more obsessed with the white clay now. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually true. All right, yeah, you're right. I don't want to leave this just yet, but I'm going back to this. Mm -hmm. What do we do here on this one? On that one, uh, you thin out the walls. Okay. And then if you're happy with the size, then we move on to the ridges, basically. Okay. All right. So how's the uh, the reception so far? Um, especially during the pandemic, I would uh, imagine that a lot of people were um, trying to take up on pot pottery. What oh do you, yeah. What do you think? Um, in, in Indonesia or maybe just worldwide, is it is it something that a lot of people? Uh, something that a lot of them do now. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, definitely, the interest has been increasing, mm -hmm. uh, especially um, since COVID and all. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, the the reception is pretty well because I've been doing pottery for one year, mm -hmm. and I had my first joint exhibition after two months of experience. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the, that exhibition went quite well. I, Wait, I for only two months and you had your exhibition yeah. already? A joint exhibition. A joint exhibition. <laughs> Either way. Where was that? Here in Indonesia? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, so basically, like, some friends and I, uh, we, we 
we were, we know each other from this because we go to the same teacher. Mm -hmm. And then we thought that we wanted to do something with our pottery. Like we don't want to just like sit in our house. Uh huh. Right. So yeah, we started that exhibition, and yeah. How many were shown? Do you remember? A lot. A quite, lot. Quite a lot. Okay. Because um, I so I started early 2022, and mm -hmm. in that year we had two exhibitions. Two exhibitions. Two exhibitions. Yeah. Okay. And is that is that kind of like a a good number to have in a year to have the exhibitions twice in one year? I would think so. Yeah. I would think so. Yeah. Okay, so, now, so how are you guys doing with your brown clay and the white clay? I think I'm going quite Pretty happy good. with this. Yeah? Right? Okay, great. But it's kind of like, you know, wobbly in some kind of way, like... Mm. I think that adds like an extra charm to it. Oh, yes. It's like your own kind of thing. Yeah, see, that's one thing too. Oh. You're right, you're right. Yeah. So that's why one pottery to the other can't really be the same. Yeah, because, I mean, I think when it has like your fingerprints on it, like it's already yes, something right. that's unique ah, to you. Ah, that makes sense. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I'm trying to get back into my white clay. <laughs> okay. So. Mine. Yeah, you're doing. That's actually I'm really good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So is it like fix uh, it thin enough, or do you have to thin it again? That, that looks good. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna use our first tool, because mm -hmm. because actually like a lot of times your hands could be the best tool, mm -hmm. you know. But for this one to make the ridges, we're gonna use this tool. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we're just gonna make like lines on it. Okay. So we can actually put it in our hand. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. Just make, make lines. Like oh, you just... Uh, okay, okay, just yeah. line it that way. Mm -hmm. Oh. Just to have that layer of texture. Really, now I can really say that this is very therapeutic. You really have to have the patience. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you really have to have the... Um, I don't know, you need to... I uh, can't really say what it is, but... Um, you're thinking about things when you're doing this, right, uh, Mabel? Yeah. Sometimes, Not like... Just solely thinking about that. A lot of the times, like, you just kind of get lost into it. And I think that's a really great feeling. Oh. This is coming along together. So, Mabel, yes. um, you had your first joint exhibition after two months learning. So, what's next for you? Um... I'm trying to develop like a retail collection so people can buy my things online. Mm -hmm. But also I'm trying to get into fine arts because uh, I believe that pottery is not just mugs and bowls. Mm -hmm. It could be other things. It could be uh, sculptures like the ones I made here. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could be like, like, an, like a functional art, I would say, like over there. We have like a this Salvador one. Dali yes. inspired clock. Mm -hmm. And over there we have some bookends. Mm -hmm. And I like to use like multimedia. Yeah. So for example, the clock that's like a pottery and woodworking. Mm -hmm. Whereas the bookends are like metal and pottery. Yeah. Nice. So, do you guys have your ridges? Yep, we yeah. do. Okay. Does it does so, it good already? Yeah, it looks good. So um, now we make the handle, mm -hmm. and you have your second white clay. Mm -hmm. So take like maybe about half of it. Okay. You roll it into a ball. Mm -hmm. And once you have that ball, mm -hmm. you kind of want to, like, do like, roll it. that motion, roll it, yeah. Okay. Like, oh, here or here? Can oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think we could, yeah, do it there. 
So you want to roll it in one side, like kind of slant it. Oh, in one side. Oh, okay. one side kind of slant it. Yeah, okay. so you could get like a different diameter because like the end of it is kind of smaller than the base, right? Okay. So you want to get kind of like this kind of shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that good enough? Yeah. And then you kind of tap it a little bit so that it's more flat. Yes. And then th this will probably be the most difficult part. You mm -hmm. just kind of curve it inwards so you get this curve. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if it starts to crack, uh, try to like smooth it over uh, quickly. Okay. So after this process, what are actually the following process? So after this, we wait a while until the moisture comes off. And How then, a while is a while? Uh, it depends on the piece, but I would say like a couple of hours. Mm. And it becomes a stage that we call bone dry. Bone dry. Yeah. And then when you have, uh, when it's bone dry, you can fire it at 800 degrees Celsius. Oh, dude, that's hot. Oh, yeah. It's very hot. Uh, for, for how long? For about eight hours. Wait, what? Yes. Eight, eight hours. hours? Eight hours. Okay. Wow, okay. And um, during that time, the bone dry uh, pottery will become what we call a bisque or a biscuit. Okay. Oh, right, okay. okay. So at, um, when it's at a biscuit point, it's like partially non-porous. Okay. But it's not complete yet. Uh, at that point, you can glaze it, which is like adding the colors, or um, if you see the ashtray over there. Yeah. Like, I added some pieces of glass. That's why it has, like, um, like a blue color on it. Yeah. And then, uh, when you're done with that, you can just fire it again for the second time. But this time, it's going to be longer and hotter. Okay, so right. apparently this looks like going to be a long process. A but long process. <laughs> as much as we want to continue, we have very limited time. But Mabel, thank you so much for coming to the studio. And also, uh, please do not uh, be alarmed because this is not really uh, something that you need to be afraid of because it's hard because, you know, we can do it. You can do it yeah, too. And, and as still... we are continuing well, with this, uh, we want to take you on a break. Yes, right? of course. We're going to take you on a break. And after that, we will recap some international news from earlier in the program today. So keep it here on the C, uh, on the C Morning Show on C Today. <laughs> man, I'm too focused uh, on the clay, man. Bye. <laughs>